What can you do if you've got a room, a wall, and another room? <laughs> Why not? Hello and welcome to Sea Friendly Reef. Maybe for some of you it's very interesting to see the difficulties while building a reef tank into a wall. I visited Dennis who did exactly that. So he sent me some pictures of the building process and we can see the end result of the reef tank system. The 1500 liter tank from Dennis has the dimensions 200 by 80 by 80 centimeters. The tank has now been standing for about a half a year and is operated with a lime reactor. The nice thing here is the fact that Dennis could make his own space behind the tank. The interior is extremely clean, so it makes sense to adapt the aquarium as well. Since the room design is very wide, the tank really stands out. This is a cool effect. Dennis has mixed the tank colorfully. We find some LPS corals, SPS and even soft corals next to some nice fish like tanks and chromies. The lighting consists of an ATI hybrid, so T5 and LED mixed in one lamp. And above the Zoas we find an ATI Sirius X2. Those of you who have been with me for a while may remember that one of my first LEDs was also a Sirius. Today I will talk about how Dennis managed to integrate his reef tank into a wall. You have to know exactly about the statics in the house. So it is always the best to ask your architect. Anything over 11 cm is called a load-bearing wall. So Dennis' walls were 11.5 cm thick. So he started to reinforce the main sonry on the lower floor. Dennis installed two 60 by 60 steel beams, 70 cm to the left and 70 cm to the right side over the masonry. He also installed two additional supports. They can hold about 13 tons. After that, upstairs could be started now. The cutout of the tank was removed. One of the most important things is to fix a beam about the aquarium. This prevents the wall from sliding into the tank from above. This beam is a mix of steel and concrete. I think Dennis is right to be so extremely careful with these actions. There are other people living in his house and I don't want to imagine what can happen if you approach such a project in the wrong way. The aquarium was built by my buddy Rudy. Since you have a whole room just for your tank, the sum could be integrated next to the tank. This is of course very practical. On all our reef tank tours I meet so many awesome peoples with 
so fantastic stories behind the hobby and behind their tanks. In this case, Dennis told me a very sad story because a friend of him died and one of his last wishes was uh, that Dennis took his reef tank and uh, yeah, got into the hobby and Dennis did not have any plan about that. So his challenge was to get into this topic and get some knowledge about it and yes he did a very great job in my opinion i'm looking forward to follow more projects in the future also from day one and i'm curious what else we will see on this channel feel free to write down in the comments if you would add an aquarium into a wall at home or if that would be too much action for you